Hello and welcome. I'm Joanna. I'm Jim. And this is How We School. Cha -cha -cha. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Hello and welcome. We're so glad you're here today and spending some time with us. We um, have pretty much wrapped up fourth grade. We have started some fifth since we uh, homeschool year round. We have wrapped up some fourth grade stuff and started wrap it up, wrap it up. <laughs> those subjects in fifth grade. And we're still wrapping up some things that are in fourth grade, but pretty much. Oh, I need to get that to wrap up. <laughs> but pretty much done. So we're gonna kind of give you our reflections on this past school year, and let you know our favorite things, our not so favorite things, and how we feel moving into fifth grade. So, did you have a great fourth grade? You did. I enjoyed fourth grade as well. Now, like these, maybe this last month has been a little trying. Mm -hmm. It's kind of been a struggle. So I think we're gonna take like a little week break where we still will do reading and math every day, but just taking it slow, yeah? And anyways, we're clearing out the schoolroom, So it's a good time to take a break. All right, but besides that, the school year went amazing, I thought. We learned so many new things. Uh, we got to go to so many new places. Yes? <laughs> okay, so my first question is, what was your favorite curriculum this year? Evan Moore. Evan Moore. Evan Moore workbooks were his favorite curriculum. <laughs> Wait, he likes the skill sharpeners, right? Because why? Why do you like those? Color. Because they're colorful. I, mean, I actually I like the activities. You like the activities. I'm more of the daily of a more. <laughs> he doesn't like those quite as much. Uh, but I like the daily ones, even though they're black and white. I think that they're better. But we still, I still get you the skill sharpeners, don't I? Yes, exactly. So my favorite, no surprise, is Oak Meadow. I just like how we transition since kindergarten every year with it and how you can see it progressing along and how something we maybe learned last year, how it goes deeper, it went deeper this year and how next year it'll just go deeper. Um, I enjoyed some of the books they chose for us this year. So I just like it. It's, uh, it's probably the, I think it's the only curriculum we do for math, correct? Yeah, except like, Evan Moore books. We just do that per math. Language arts, we do do a few things in science as well. Social studies, we keep it to that. We do have another history curriculum, but Oak Meadow for, for me, I love it. I don't know why. It's just, I, and it's also, I'm going to have a, um, a better video on it, but it's also, even though it gives you instructions, it's also kind of open. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What was your favorite subject this year and why? Nah. Math? Why? I the Louder. <laughs> I love the difficulty. You love the difficulty. He likes to be challenged in math. And as I've mentioned many times, we are still working through multiplication, right? Um, just to get faster at it. I'm like, I'm like a turtle with um, multiplication. multiplication, but a cheetah with division. A cheetah with division. This is 100% true. Uh, so we're just still working on that. But besides that, every, every challenge that has been thrown his way this year with math, he has worked on it. Uh, Roman numerals, multiplication, division, fractions, measurement, conversions, all of that. Yes? Yeah. So I'm not surprised that was his favorite subject. I think my favorite subject this year was our animal kingdom biology study. Um, that's been a lot of fun. We've done the birds mammals, reptiles, and amphibians, and next, now insects. And now we're on insects, and we're almost done with that, actually. So it that was my favorite. And I think also because we did it in nature, it was something we did outdoors weekly, and we did it with our friends. So that was a lot of fun. That was a fun subject, and that was just one that we created on our own. We didn't use any curriculum for that. What was your favorite craft or project this year? Legos. Legos. I knew he picked that. Legos are usually his favorite. Mm -hmm. He likes to do Legos and I consider those like I, he'll do a kit for school or something and the time he spends on it, that's what he likes to do. But he does do a lot of crafting on his own as well. I know he had out a book today to work on. Lego. 
<laughs> he had to work. He was working on doing some stuff today, right? Gathering some materials for some crafts he wanted to do. So my favorite craft this year or project, oh boy, I don't know. I'm a little stumped. I'm gonna say probably the Needle Felted Virginia uh, map is my favorite. Um, just because it looks pretty and I like that stuff. But also your um, the scene you made of our pond, nearby pond and the natural things that you would find, in the native things to that, to our area that he put in that model. That was another good one. What was your favorite independent read? Hmm. That you read on your own. Logan Foster. Logan Foster. It was his favorite book this year. You have a favorite graphic novel too, right? What was that one? Fantastic Tales of Nothing. Fantastic Tales of Nothing. My favorite. Oh, what's your favorite read aloud? Want to think on it? Do you want to think on it? Oh, I know, I know what it is. Uh, what is the book like? What happens in the book? You forget the title of the book. Everything. Everything. Cece? No. Well, my favorite read aloud. Amari. Amari. Did we read that one this year or last year? That was this year. That was fourth grade. I can't remember. Amari apparently has left a great impression on him. My favorite was Willow Dean. It was short and sweet and made me cry. Um, yeah, that was one of my favorites. <laughs> Do you have a least favorite? Yeah. All right, Did, have you liked them all? Dot, 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 What's dot, that? dot, 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 None? Okay. No least favorite. That's a good thing. What is your favorite game from this year? Do you need to think on that too? <laughs> you don't know? My favorite game. I like trivia games. So my favorite are still when we play Probably Professor Brainiac, right? Yep, Professor Noggins and Brainiac. Because Brain think mine is Castle Panic. Castle Panic. That's a fun one too. Yeah, Castle Panic's a fun game. Makes you panic. Makes you panic, which I don't like. Gives me anxiety, this game. <laughs> um, so what did you think overall? This is gonna be a very short, quick video, but just your overall feelings or feels about fourth grade. Seriously. I loved it. You loved it? What do you feel made you love fourth grade? Math. Math? Yeah, it was a really good year for math for you. I agree. I also enjoyed, he, he did take a nature class this year once a week. Um, that is out of the house. It's a drop-off class. And I saw lots of great improvements in him. And um, I will, oh, that's not Legos is my, Legos is not my favorite craft. Oh, not Legos is not your favorite craft? Well, it's my, they're tied. Okay, what's your other favorite craft? Lego, Lego. Mm-hmm. And weaving baskets. Weaving baskets. Yeah, that's a good one. So yeah, he had a lot of fun in his nature class and I enjoyed seeing all the things he learned, um, starting fires, making camps, um, edible foods in the, in the woods, uh, just lots of things, how to use his knife, how to whittle, lots of fun things, yeah? So I, I really enjoyed that and looking back, Math was great, and it's one of the subjects I worry about the most, and I think that that's probably why I only stick to Oak Meadow, because I feel that if I have too many curriculum for math, I'll get overwhelmed, mm -hmm. so I try to keep it to just, um, just Oak Meadow, and I think that that's why sometimes less is more, and I think that sometimes I overdo it, even though we do do um, Evan Moore workbooks for math, but that's just more for review. We're not really learning, right? So... I feel like, yeah, math is, is, it is a good one. And I think that might be why, because we take it nice and easy. Yeah. But we're looking forward to fifth grade. We haven't really changed much in our curriculum or our choices, but um, he's doing the nature class next year as well. Yes. Um, he does golf and baseball and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so and um, our biology study, we will continue it next year. Um, we're gonna move out of the animal kingdom and into the plant kingdom. So that'll be fun, right? But the animals are fun. I enjoy doing the animals. I feel maybe because I feel more confident with the um, uh, I think my the animals. plant might be... Your, your what? My your plants? Plant. Well, I think we're gonna break it up, trees, flowers. Um. I see my Crosses. flower might be your favorite flower. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> my favorite, just like plant, is probably jewelweed. Jewelweed? Yeah. It turns into a jewel. Mm-hmm. No, it's. I know. What color? Brownish. Oh, okay. So we're looking forward to fifth grade. We had a really good, like I said, fourth grade year. This last month was a, bu a bit bumpy, but besides. Little besides this last month it was smooth sailing pretty much so I'm hoping I'm hopeful this year this school year will be the same um, if you have any questions you want us to answer about our fourth grade year um, if you want to know any of our favorites that we didn't mention that maybe I forgot to think of was phys oh I also meant to say what was your favorite science project Phys Phys the physics project, right, from um, Real Science Odyssey. I figured he likes all the labs from Real Science Odyssey, so not surprised. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you guys so much. I hope you got a good recap or sense of how our fourth grade year went. We had a lot of fun. It really was fun, right? We had a lot of fun. Even, I think it's been bumpy because I think we've just been trying to get things done. But just this week, I was like, let's get the beanbags out. Let's do our schoolwork, jumping around. That was good right yeah I, so I think we were kind of missing that stuff and then we got a little too like sit down do this do that so that was nice so i think that's where we're at a break and kind of backtracking to how we used to do things all right so thank you guys uh so much for coming anything else from you no all right we're so glad you guys stopped by and, and that's, that's a wrap. wrap all right guys thank you bye, bye.